150 miles east of Africa, there is a small island with a population of just 60,000 people. There is over 700 rare species of plants and wildlife, with a third of them endemic to the island. This island is Socotra Island, the jewel of Arabia. On this island, there is a unique species of tarantula with tremendous parenting tributes and the ability to live in massive colonies have the ability to even share food and they have striking blue legs blue carapace this is the Monocytropis balfouri let me take you on a journey with a 7 inch leg span stunning golden carapace and blue legs the female is waiting for her male. The male, once mature, gets a deep blue carapace and is ready to breed within a few weeks. Breeding this species has been proven fairly easy, with the female less likely to consume the male. Once the female has laid a sack, 30 days later, we have babies. At just under half a centimetre, the first instar babies start to emerge. Mother close by keeping a very close eye as these delicate babies start to move around. She creates a thick layer of web to prevent intruders from coming in and taking her offspring. She will continue to nurture them and feed them for a number of months until they are ready to fend for themselves. Six months have passed and the spiders have now grown to a size where they are capable to fend for themselves. But this means that they needed to be rehoused. So it was time to make their forever home. And here it is. After studying pictures of their natural habitat, this was what was chosen. With a width of 24 inches, a height of 12 and a depth of 15. Substrate from 4 inches to 8 inches at the back allows the species to burrow as they desire. There is plenty of anchor points also to make their webbing, which they are obviously renowned for doing. When it comes to rehousing, it was fairly simple. There was no threat postures from any of the spiders. And once they were put into their enclosure, they were left to their own devices to start burrowing and webbing as they desired. So let me give you a bit of history on the Monocytropis balfouri. So they were named after the collector of the type specimen, I.B. Balfour. They were described in 1897 by Reginald Pocock. As previously mentioned, they are endemic to Socotra Island. They are found generally 850 meters above sea level. The island itself has very, very little rainfall, so humidity is not an issue with these species, keeping them at around about 50 to 60% humidity, just with a water dish is plenty. So three months after, this is the enclosure the amazing web castle that has been built, the endless amount of tunnels that have been burrowed. The Balfouri have certainly made this enclosure their own. When it comes to feeding time, the M. Balfouri show a unique characteristic Despite small bickering and dominance over food, there is never any real violence. While some will take one cricket and run, others will grab as many as they can and web them up into their own little burrito to eat as quickly as they can before another comes along to take it. We have even seen cases where four or five have even shared the same item 
as you can see from here there are four outside here eating this one cockroach you can see that there is no violence they're just enjoying sharing this meal despite this if one wants to be left alone it will let the others know giving a little kick there just indicated to that one that it's not willing to share M. Balfouri have a medium growth rate, so you're expected to get around about two inches within a year. I have found personally that they do grow faster in a colony than what they do if they were kept solitary. Life expectancy for M. Balfouri in captivity. For females, it's around about 15 years, with the males between five and seven. Despite this being a baboon species, which tend to be very defensive, the M. Balfouri, although can show times of threat postures, tend to be more docile. Although it's still not recommended to handle these as they are an old world species and do possess fairly potent venom. But they tend to be more chilled out than a lot of the other baboons and they certainly mellow out as they get older. So overall I think the Balfouri, if you are looking to move into the old world genus, I definitely consider this being one of the first species to get into keeping old world tarantulas. They tend to be out in the open a lot more, obviously got striking colours, they tend to be a little bit more on the docile side, but still not recommend you handle them. And obviously you can keep them in these impressive communals. So let me know down in the comments below if you have your own Balfouri communal, I'd love to hear from you. If you like the video, please thumbs it up and share it on social media. And if you want to see more content, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you with some more footage. That's not a good start, <laughs> <laughs> So flew me away. Sorry, mate.